Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the penultimate race of the MRL Cup Series season. We're at Myrtle Beach Speedway. I'm joined with Coma and Yummy. Let's get straight into the point standings. Avento at 308 points, Nanners at 305, just three points behind, and Radiant 17 points behind. Do you guys think that Radiant has a chance in the championship? If you want my honest opinion, no, not really. Uh, I've been seeing practice of all of a bunch of different drivers here. Radiant did about like a 200 lap stint, which is going to be a 250 lap race, and he just he couldn't break what a lot of others slow laps could be as his average. So it's going to take an absolute miracle for Radiant to even get top three. If I'm going to be honest, uh, there's so many people who have been really pushing themselves obviously we've got our normal heavy hitters alpha ch fan really looking fast uh we take a look and w watch out for barry because he is also <laughs> he is also going to be a front runner mark my words and we've also got nanners coming off of his momentum of his two wins in a row didn't see two didn't see the best of him uh throughout practice but i mean he is kind of your wild card when it comes to that thing he could be a little average in practicing qualifying i mean he qualified 10th in vegas which not not the greatest but he, he did still end up winning it qualified fourth and then your road course won that as well so out of all of the wild cards and the heavy hitters i don't think radiant has a chance to find his way in that yeah i mean myrtle beach has been touted as you know it is the wild card around right before miami so radiant's been talking about it all season that he's not super confident coming into myrtle beach it's not a track that he's real comfortable with uh which given his record at short tracks is a bit of a surprise but in all honesty he needs something catastrophic to happen to nanners and avento this weekend for some for it to keep his hopes truly alive and then even then, he has to put in the performance that he thinks that he's incapable of doing at the moment. So we'll see. But like, yeah, I think this will this weekend will be a round of wild cards. You have Alpha and CH fan looking to maybe bite back after what they've had a disappointing season for both of them. Uh, Barry's looking quick. Um, then you don't know where Vento or Danners are going to place. There are two championship leaders. I think that Nanners will be coming out of this weekend as the points leader, but I don't think either of them are going to win. Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, going back to even if Radiant like won the race, got the pole, and got the fastest lap, Avento and Nanners, they wouldn't, he would need them to finish just like last. Like if they finished second and third, Radiant wouldn't gain that many points ahead of them and this would still not be really in contention going into Homestead, Miami. Um, now, talking about Myrtle Beach, Coma, you have quite a bit of experience here, don't you? You could you could say that, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got uh, some real-life experience in my old series. Uh, we don't talk about the finish that happened there, but I, I ran up front pretty much the whole race, and then we obviously had the D2 race here, where basically the only battles I had were with lap cars. And then I helped some of the D3 guys when that happened, mainly Silver, who we saw kind of do a mini version of what I did, kind of spread out the field a little bit. And I've also been helping a lot of the D1 drivers, including Radiant, Barry, uh, Logic, Vento, possibly others, I can't remember at the moment. And this track, basically the draft is almost non-existent and even when it is used and available it's faster to do a certain line around this track than have draft so it's not really going to, to matter all that much this is all about being focused every single lap obviously this is the longest race of our schedule and a lap count we've got 250 laps around here so you just got to be extremely focused and extremely patient making sure you're hitting your marks and not making any mistakes. And when I say that, I when I practice with the guys and they make a single or even two mistakes, it's like a half-track difference if the other guy is super consistent. So it's all about being smooth while also trying to push the lap as hard as you can. Basically, it's a early apex track, which is 
complete opposite how it is in real life. You just dive in the corner, break hard, hold the bottom all the way through the corner, wait till you get straight, snap off, do the same thing in turn three, then obviously turn one, you're always turning. As soon as you go wide out to that wall, you're right back in it, driving into turn one. So pretty grueling track. We have yet to do a fuel run because of how long this race is going to be and how long these last. So should be looking at a one-stop run, but I honestly have no idea. The shortest track, the longest race, and possibly the hardest to win. Only you one track remains, <laughs> Homestead, Miami. I mean, Yami, what are you thinking about the, uh, this race and then moving into Homestead, Miami? Now, we've been watching the standings all season. You know, they span a bit and then they've contrasted a bit. And we're getting to the point where things are getting really close. Coming into Myrtle Beach, Nanners and Avento pretty much our two main championship contenders are neck and neck in points effectively. Coming into Myrtle Beach, Avento has historically had a better track record at short tracks. And Nanners is known for his intermediate racing so it's going to be very interesting to watch how this all unfolds i mean nanners has is coming off of two wins at from indy to las vegas kind of taking revenge from what happened at dover so i don't quite know who's going to come out on top but it's going to be very close nonetheless indeed it will well let's move into our predictions uh Let's start out with Coma. Who is your prediction to win Myrtle Beach? Hmm. Well, you all know my ties with Alpha, <laughs> and I can't. I can't see a better a better person to root for, except for one guy. If I had two choices, uh, I, I'd have I'd have two in mind. But unfortunately, that's not how this works. So I I gotta go with my my main driver, Alpha Charlie, at number ten. I've been with him all season long, ever since Watkins Glen, and I'm, I'm, we had a great showing, got our first podium in a long time at Las Vegas, and I think being at this track just amplifies his chances of winning tenfold, so I'm going to go with the 10 of Alpha. All right, I'm going to go here. I'm going to make a little bit of a wild guess here. I mean, it's not so wild once you've seen the performance, but I'm going to go with the Barry, and I've been kind of keeping close eye on everyone's uh, practice times and uh, how they've been doing. And Barry has just been going over the top, breaking his own after his own. It's just every day he improves. And uh, I think he's he might struggle a little bit with pace, but I feel like he's got a great shot at winning tonight. Yummy, who do you think will win Myrtle Beach tonight? In all honesty, I've got to go with CH Fan. I mean, we're seeing him... Constantly, week after week, put in these great times in practice. Constantly, you know, being at the top, being the guy to beat. Then we come into the race and it kind of shifts away from him. He doesn't carry that same kind of momentum into the race. Sure, he's running up front, but he's not finishing where he needs to. And I think this weekend's going to be really important for him personally to kind of break that habit and finally break out of that downward spiral that I think he's kind of starting to try to claw himself out of um so i don't think nanners is going to continue his run i don't think he's going to make it three in a row however i do think lsr is going to continue their streak of wins all right qualifying starting up in just a minute or so stay tuned it might be important to the championship we'll be back for mrl uh, mrl qualifying at myrtle beach
Welcome everybody to the Myrtle Beach Speedway, where we're getting ready to start the second to final race in the season. Qualifying is really going to matter here, <clears throat> as drivers might want that extra little point that qualifying gives. It's a beautiful day out for the longest race of the season, or at least the most lap count race of the season, as we are now just getting ready for qualifying. Yummy coming up in just a second. We'll see if he has any other announcements to make other than the race starting. Nanners, of course, and Avento, the two ones to look for. Radiant not able to make it, unfortunately. He's got casual subbing for him. <laughs> what? So, just all the drivers getting joined up. Looks like William is back to try to keep his seat in D1. Hello, team man. Yeah. We have the same bullshit that we've been dealing with all week. What? Where people can't hear stage. Oh. Um, Is it the same people? Yep. Yeah. Believe it or not. Isn't that weird? Um... I think it's their fault. Um... Don't know. What if we just made a whole new stage? I'm just saying. Maybe this um, one's faulty. <laughs> I don't know. Not a legitimate thing. I don't know. Hmm. Weird. Is Dunty driving today? Uh, I do believe so. Who's he subbing for? Uh, I actually don't know. <laughs> Wonderful. Just no, so. not the 54. Okay. Let's try a different stage, shall we? Oh, here we go. Cup race 2.0. Let's, let's, let's try this. Can everybody hear me? Can people hear? Can people that could hear... Earlier still here? Can the people that couldn't hear earlier still hear? Okay. So it's just something wrong with the channel permissions. That is strange. Something wrong. Okay. And so Alpha's issue is just an alpha issue. Uh, Nanners, can you hear? As he types. Okay. Logic can't hear anymore. Barry can't hear. Can't. Alpha just doesn't work at all. That is... Okay, Logic got his fixed. Technical difficulties going on. While we try to I sort don't... out this... This is a Discord weird, issue. Weird issue. There's no way that it's not. Have you guys tried uninstalling and reinstalling? Any dice, Alpha? Nope, didn't think so. Okay. Hmm. So, Nanners can hear me, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, Barry is the only one... Barry and Alpha are the only two that still are having issues, right? And I believe Barry has got another means of... No, he doesn't. Okay. Let's 
So once again, if you're just now joining us, we are having some technical difficulties as uh, some of the drivers cannot hear uh, uh, um, at least Yummy in the booth. So we're just trying to make sure this does not happen. Uh, as everyone needs to hear in the booth. Looks like drivers are now just spawning the cars. So I might, I think we might be continuing. You can hear the waiting music just fine until I joined. Looks like Nanders will be the first one to go out on track. William. But the issue is, is you can hear me when we're in a normal VC, which is what I don't understand. We so maybe from Miami, we'll just set, make up normal VC and just have it fucking everybody be muted <laughs> and just like you can't speak it just doesn't have channel permissions anyways nanners go you guys know the drill i like the lighting nanners what is top speed yeah. um it's 190 right hmm. Who's in the yeah 189 okay, nanners will be the first car on track he is going to start his lap now. He said Myrtle Beach being one of the hardest tracks to get down. We're going to be doing William go over 200 laps here. So it's going to be a long night for us. And he's out of turn number four. I think um, Coma did the math of about a thousand corners oh, over the course of the race. That's a lot of corners. Start of William's lap. Nanners setting a 17.1. Let's see what's William. Junior go. Down. William will put a 17.7. Will be put in second. Start of Junior's lap. Logic go. Junior out of turn four. A 17.5. Start of Logic's lap. Casual go. Logic going through three and four. Gonna be a 17.4. Casual subbing for Radiant tonight. <clears throat> Evento go. Casual. His lap. A two, a uh, seventeen point two. Vento going through now. Ooh, a wide Ooh. turn one and two. Barry go. That'll definitely cause a hit on the time. Through three and four as the train goes by. Vento still third at 17.3. Started Barry's lap. Sage fan, go. Very out of turn four, a 17.2 flat. Right now holding on Start the second. Switching. Alpha, go. And a 17.383 puts himself fourth. Jinty go. Jinty will be subbing for Q. Man, it's weird. Oh, we haven't seen Q in like a long time. 
Yeah, Kiyu's been absent. Alpha setting a 17.2, same as Barry, he'll be placed in third. Everyone else gets moved down. And Genty, the last one on the line, driving, driving the 56. Goes wide and hits the wall. And that's the end of his lap. It was going to be a three-minute time anyway. <laughs> what? three-minute time. I'm not quite sure about that, but it'll, it works nonetheless. Nanner's with his third pull of his career. Look at that. At what a All that wildly different tracks. <laughs> Alrighty. Well. It's Let's gonna see. be an interesting one, folks. Yeah. We'll be right back. Gonna get the actual race going through in just a moment. Stay tuned. Hopefully I can join first as well, so the server has my...
Welcome everybody back to Myrtle Beach Speedway as we're just getting ready to go 250 laps or somewhere around 125 miles. And uh, we're going to figure out who's going to improve and who's going to maybe fall off. Nanner's got the pole. Actually, yeah, let's take a look at our starting lineup here before I get ahead of myself. On the pole, Nanner's gets the extra point. He's now two points away from Avento going into the tonight's race. And Barry's so close to getting that pole, but is going to be put in second. Alpha tying the time for Barry, but Barry went first. So Barry gets second, Alpha gets third. Casual subbing, uh, casual subbing for Radiant. And uh, Seachin after that, and Avento will be sixth. Then you got Logic, Junior Smith, and William. You can see William lining up there. And then Genty subbing for Q and Hedge there at the back. I guess GT is not here. Let's take a look at the race info. 250 laps around the shortest track. It's about a quarter mile in length. Fuel window is a little bit more than 110. And pit speed is 100 studs per second as usual. As we get ready to pace. Potential one-stop strategy tonight. Um, yeah, as the usual for D1. I mean, we've had races where it's been a no-stop strategy. Just a few. Lots of cars showing up tonight. Already. Well. It's good to see. <laughs> Let's get pacing. Somebody was texting and driving. Beautiful sunset as well. So alpha goes into the wall and uh my spectate menu is broken wonderful oh and logic people are oh. struggling with this pacing oh my goodness yeah i'm just watching from my second monitor <laughs> it looks like they're having a not slow great speeds time. everybody no oh my goodness pace speed is 90. i think there's a reason we haven't <laughs> lapsed yet Oh. It'll be an interesting time tonight, pacing. <laughs> oh, I am. Now, this is. Hey, going green. People, 90, hold your speed. And he's leading him off. Oh, I went to hard into the wall before we green have flag. even started. Into turn one, Nanner's hitting the inside wall, already out to about third, and Barry... Remember, casual Gentine Hedge, serve your drive-thrus. Gonna take the lead, two of the backup drivers, and then Hedge going into the pit lane. Barry with a little bit of a lead. Alpha looking, it's gonna go a little bit wide. Nanner's will take the inside away. Nanner's... Really diving it into three, takes the inside line away. And uh, he's now back to the lead. Oh, Hedge. Hedge with a, <laughs> a very late merge. That is an awkward merge angle, huh? Yeah, it's just a weird angle. Alpha pushing the eight out of the way, tries to take the inside, not able to get it there. Into turn one, and there's a little bit wide of an entry. Leaves room for Alpha to try to take it away. Oh, and I just want to give a quick like PSA to all the drivers. There will be a lot of people getting lapped tonight, probably at some point. So don't be that guy that holds up oh. the lap traffic or that holds up the cars on the lead lap. Alpha, let's not do that. Be a bit more careful. <laughs> Anders will take the lead back. Barry uh, will fall into the second, and now finds the inside of Nanners. They're going to be side-by-side side into turn one. Andrew's kind of going a couple lanes up. Kind of came down on the alpha there. Keeps his uh, line. Oh, Barry into the wall. Gets moved out of the way by CH fan. He's able to hold it together. He keeps that lead. And Nanner's too wide that time. Falls back to fourth. CH fan now looking in. Trying to take that lead away. 
Ooh, kind of gets to the quarter panel of the 17. Makes him go wide. Anders looking in. Gets a push from Alpha. Not quite able to get to the quarter panel. Tries it on the front straightaway. Gets him out of the way here into turn one. Yeah. Anders For an Anders to come out of this race, the points leader, he needs to finish at least a minimum of one of two positions above Avento. So... Yeah, three wide now for the lead CH fan on the inside. Alpha dropping back. Barry looking in, gives a big dive. Kind of got him to CH fan there. Looking in now in turn three. CH fan not able to block oh, it. Oh, Avento. Ooh, Avento is lagging hard. Oh, boy. Three wide again up front. Anders with the inside. He's going to get help from Alpha. Three wide now for second. As Barry goes up top, the block Sage Fan. Sage Fan gives him a little bit of a bump. Goes to the inside. Tries to take third away. As Anders just wants to get out of here. He wants to be on his own. Barry going a little bit wide in turn three. Falls behind Sage Fan. And now the leader is starting to get a little bit spread out. Oh, Alpha too hot into the turn. Goes wide, lets CH fan kind of get that inside lane. Side by side now for second. And Anders starting to pull away. Vento is really struggling with that lag. It's not on his side tonight. Alpha giving a bump to the back of the 90. Moves him out of the way. He takes second back. I mean... Seen these two work together and Nanner's starting to can pull you, away. Uh, can you pull up your stream on the Discord part? Oh yeah. Oh, that didn't work. There we go. Here comes Barry. Oh, Seachman comes down on Barry. Luckily nothing comes of it. Barry's right, got the preferred lane. Ooh. Snaps a little early, gets in. Seachman as they all kinda get into each other here in turn three. Alpha pulls away, or a very starting to pull away now. Alpha's got that inside line. They try to get around CH fan. Goes a little bit wide. CH fan gives a bump to the back of the tank. Oh. Goes up the racetrack. And we got a caution. Caution. Racing back. Who spun? Oh, Avento. Avento. <laughs> We're racing back. Anders starting to pull a little bit of the gap. This is not really what he wanted, wanted to Stop see. Stop on the back once your name's on the leaderboard. I've been to, I would try rejoining before you give up. a very big battle up front with the drivers as we kind of expected to see. I think you know, Goma at the start earlier today said you know, we're probably going to see a boring race until uh, the leaders come up across the lap traffic. I'm not seeing that I mean, be the case today. We saw Nanners was able to pull away once <laughs> everyone was done fighting, so... Genty or Hedge will get the the lucky dog. That hurt. <laughs> We're good. Where is the pit lane? Oh. All right, let's go pacing. Pits are closed at this lot at this time. They'll be open next time around. Like Myrtle Beach is kind of a hard track to pace at. Uh, at least with these cars. Hedge, go ahead and get your lap back. Pit lane. Yeah, pit lane is open. Oh. Takers. Oh, Genty will go down pit lane. 
It'll be the sole car to go. <laughs> it's just coming out of those corners. They struggle with the pacing. It's too bad that's when they need to start going. Oh, right. CH ran a little bit too wide. Oh, what happened in the back? Minor incident. Is he now getting back in line? We might want to try pacing out the second lane instead of the bottom lane. Oh my goodness. This will be our last lap under pacing. The guys in the back need to... Consolidate. Figure it out. Oh, and the guys up front need to do this as well. Avento's lag is no. making it difficult for him. It's a s oh, 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 and William my. slipped himself. And then Jinty decided to hit him. Our, I guess we're not going green as there's. Yeah, we'll start driving though. Keep going. Get on the gas. Go. You're st you're gonna go a lap down. I guess William's gonna go a lap down. There he goes. Oh, he's not even in the game. What? Didn't oh. even delete his car. I'll go get it. Oh, you got it. Okay. What the heck, William? Oh, Avento hit the pit lane wall. Okay. For future reference, delete your car before you leave the game. Unless it was uncontrolled. In... Alright, let's try going green this time. What the heck? Alright, here we go. And green flag. Bad start for Barry. Tails in the back. CH fan. An interesting start from him. Conway, let me know once you're back in the game. And bring you to your car. Here comes CH fan and Alpha moving to Nanners as he's trying to get away. Alpha kind of moving CH fan out of the way. Gets to his inside. Nanners starting to pull away once again. Alpha goes wide, so oh, Barry saved his line. Looked like he kind of went wide there. Alpha loses a ton of time. Now Barry moving to the inside as Logic and Casual start to look in on these front four. Now I think it's all about aggression. We got 250 laps to go. <laughs> so many left turns. Hey, is struggling. This is uh not looking good for Avento. Oh, Barry into the wall in turn one and two. Just ah, huh. I don't even know what happened there. Alpha holding on the second, casual the third. Nanner is really starting to pull away from this field. Over a second and a half of a distance. He's figured out something that no one else has. Alpha's starting to try to pull away. And you got Casual and Barry as Logic and CH fan battling back here. Yeah, uh, Logic on the high side. Is Avento currently trying to get past um, Jinty, but is really struggling with that lag. He, oh, and he gets into Jinty there. 
Our championship leader. Really not looking strong tonight. And, when, and that's kind of the opposite of what we were expecting. I mean, Evento has been fast. At short tracks, but just that Brazilian Wi-Fi just disagreeing tonight. At the worst possible time. And there's holding on to that one and a half second lead. Alpha going wide. Leaves room for Barry to kind of catch up. But uh you know, you don't really wanna be battling right now. You wanna just try to let the fast I'd say let the faster person be in front of you. And don't slam into him. As Barry's getting around Alpha, Alpha just staying on the outside. There, that time they lost a bunch of time. Alpha to the bumper of the 17 moves them out of the way. Oh, and Barry kind of got a little bit of help there in the turn one, but really will lose a couple of spots and loses a ton of time. He now looks to the inside of casual. And just continuing the pull gap now t over two seconds between him and Alpha. Really just starting to really pull away. I thought I heard tire marks. You got this group of four, second to fifth. Really battling Barry into the inside wall, goes up the racetrack, loses time. This might be Alpha's time to start pulling away. CH fan trying to get past the 17. He will through three, uh, two, excuse me. Casual hitting that inside wall, loses time. He'll be behind Barry, and now your front five are single file. Junior Smith and Hedge having a sort of battle back here for. Seventh. You got Genty and Avento. Avento still struggling, and Avento might be the first car to get lapped as Nanners is right on the horizon. Now you'd think you'd see these two battling for first, or but uh, Avento's going to be battling to stay on the lead lap here in just a few laps. And Avento <laughs> will park it. What? No. Avento no. Into the pits. Is gonna park it. This could be the end of the championship. Tell me and it ain't going so. Wide. Vento. Parking it near. The little booth thing. It's over for Avento. That is devastating. I don't think he will be able to recover from this. That is. CH fan getting past Alpha. Battle for second here. As Nanner is able to hold now a two and a half second gap between first and second. That uh, I. Rarely is Yummy Speechless at a move. And this is one of them. Is everyone now back to single file? Over two and a half seconds. See it's just trying to get away from this back. It's now Jinty and Hedge are battling. This is the battle for eighth. Or, yep, yeah, eighth. Genty on the inside goes wide into turn three. Both go into the uh, turn two. Go, they both go into the wall. And Nanners is just a corner away. That is, I, that is devastating, Rubento. Nanners going wide in one and two. Genty looks to Pulling be. Pulling off to the side? Was he doing the same? Damn, 
No one wants to finish tonight's race. Huh. Or they don't want to go a lap down. Guys, it's okay to go a lap down. He's you doing don't... AFK? Oh, well, that's... That's even... Oh, no. What, what is he walking through the infield for? What? We, we thought it would be a wild card round. I think people are starting to lose their mind. Is Hedge going to be the next one to leave? I don't know. I, is it whoever Nanners tries to lap leaves? I'm, I'm confused. Well. I can't let you do that, Jinty. Nanners goes to the outside. Hedge goes to the outside. Uh-oh. Um. Oh, okay. There we go. We are okay. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Oh, Nanners really slammed the back of Junior there. Moves him out of the way. Hedge looking to maybe battle to stay on the lead lap. Goes to the inside. Nanners and Hedge side by side. Where have I seen someone battling for the lead before? Nanners with the switchback. Edge staying on the high side. As now other cars are coming through. Logic really on his own. The only car. Just out there. Now Junior gets... Up the CH fan. How's this rear pack gonna gonna handle? Junior pulls off, rides the wall, just letting everybody by. Oh, Barry up into the wall as well. He's starting to struggle. As Nanner's pulling away from Hedge, CH fan's the next car. Everyone kind of equally spaced, equally spaced out, uh, spaced out. CH fans starting to gain, gain time on Nanners. Only a second and a half. Gained a whole second by the time we were watching. Edge sitting in the middle. Now I, to be fully honest, I wasn't expecting, I wasn't expecting a lot of what's happened tonight. <laughs> it's been a roller coaster. I guess... Jinty gets back out on... Nope, he pulls it into the bits. Um, is he done, or is he gonna go get a drive-thru? Don't know. Um... What? What? I think he's just waiting until everybody's passed. That oh. was... Well, now it's a drive-thru, right? Or am I just hallucinating? Um... He is... 13 laps down. Oh, well, I'm sure it wouldn't matter anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Hedge... Now with Alpha and Casual... Going three wide there into one. Edge not being as uh, lenient as Junior would be. Now he stays up on the high side. Now Hedge letting everybody by. Anders continuing the lead. As CH fan now slowly gaining on Nanners. Or only one caution today. Don't fucking jinx it. <laughs> Don't worry. If I say there's only one caution, there's gonna be like three. Don't worry about it. Or three in the next five laps. Just watch. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. <laughs> Just watch. God, I, I still can't believe that, that happened to Avento. Yeah, I, I think that's, I think that's it for Avento. 
I think it's over for him. Oh, Nanner's going wide in turn one, loses time to CH fan. CH fan really starting to gain a lot of time on Nanners. As everyone's pretty equally spaced out, Logic's gonna be next up on the chopping block. And Jinty has to DNF. Has to DNF. Is it now, is it has to DNF or doesn't want to keep racing 13 laps down? What, what's I don't know. He <laughs> just says he he's gonna have to park. He blames T Man. Nanner, stop using the wall. Oh. It's the inside wall. It's starting to turn into his Indianapolis cell. Is now CH Fan only a t uh, half a second behind. Alpha two seconds back, casual three seconds back, and Barry almost six seconds back. Yeah. Yeah, I still can't. I, I'm now getting in disbelief about just just the entire championship getting mixed up like that. And that at me, it, Avento was three points ahead. And, uh. Looking to defend his title. And to the, and it okay. For it to end like this. The HVN is starting to lose a little bit of time, but lap traffic is coming up. He gained a little bit of time there as a uh, casual and alpha now battling for third. Both of them about three and a half seconds back. Comeback season. So it's a little late for comeback season. I'm just saying, Avento, if you're going to join back, you better do it like now as you're already like 40 laps down. Hey, there he is. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I'm looking to minimize the damage. Yeah. Well, because who knows what's going to happen at Miami? I guess you never really know. Lap traffic really starting to hold up Nanners. Oh, and he gets into the back of Logic. Logic comes down on Nanners. He's fighting to stay on the lead lap. He turns himself. He gets into Nanners. Caution. No, yeah, there it is. There's the caution. Yep. A little bit late on the button, but caution comes out as Logic did not want to go lap back down. Stop on the back stretch. CH fan wins the race back and CH fan hitting in the logic. What was that? I've seen moves, but that That one, was That was that Sorry, was, I had to go. Oh, oh Vento. Vento. <laughs> the, I have never All right, well, let, let's take a look. That was Let's take a look. Logic up front. What the fuck? Break kind of kind of break checks there in the turn one. Comes down on him on turn two. Nanners obviously has the insight, and then Logic just turns down. That uh, was fucking. Oh, I am in disbelief. What? Maybe you were right, Yummy. This is this is a full moon. I am confused. I don't need the. Uh... <laughs> Logic, I don't know about that one. Um, uh, I well, second caution of the night, lap eighty. This uh, Vento thirty-three laps down. Logic I will get his lap back. Just... Uh, maybe depends on. It's either Logic um, or Hedge. 
getting a lap back. No, it does not have wave around. Um, let's start pacing. Yeah, no, so, so far no pit stops. We're about 80 laps in. Getting somewhat close to the fuel window. I think these cars are gonna pace. Oh no! Pacing is not something that is done very well with these cars. Black flag for the seven, drive through for excessive shoving. Yep, logic. We'll get a penalty. I don't. It... That was. <laughs> Pace on the outside. Oh, Barry. Yes, pits are open. Pits open. Who's going to come in? CH fan. Barry. Edge. <laughs> Nanners. And Junior. Oh, my goodness. Logic will have the wave around. I know. I also would assume that people would uh -oh. have figured uh -oh. it out. Nanners. Oh, Nanners struggling to get into this pit box. Kind of blocked Junior there from getting in. Siege fan comes out of his pit box. Uh, and now Hedge. And Nanners and and Junior. Oh, Barry. Man, Barry, calm down. Alpha will be your new leader. While well, he's AFK. Oh, look at that. Don't worry guys, yeah, you can just push him. Logic, go get your lap back. Vento, 33 laps down. Where's he going? Oh, Vento, I don't know where you're going. Vento. Uh, uh Vento? Don't, don't stop up there. No, 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 don't stop up there. Don't Vento. stop. Don't stop. You're gonna stop anywhere. Make it not where everyone's pacing. Oh yeah, why don't we wall ride the pace? How about that? Look, it seems to be working pretty well for even for cars that are AFK. Now don't tell me how that's gonna work in turn four. Yeah. Oh, 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 okay, Alpha's, Alpha's finally back. back. Alright, going green. I'm just saying that wall riding technique seemed to work pretty well. And now they're going to go three wide. Everybody stops wall riding. Oh. Green flag. That was a fucker cluster fuck of a restart. Oh, and a Venta already struggling. And a oh man, what is going on back here? Oh, Nanner's getting caught up on Barry. Junior saves him. That could have been a caution. A Vento driving Logic. through cars. Logic will have to serve his drive through. As Nanner's definitely needs to get back up front. Oh, Logic in a wall there. He goes through, does not speed. Alpha holds on. No, question, uh, riddle me this, Yummy. Since Williams started the race, but didn't finish it, is he going to be cup eligible next season? Um. If he shows up to next race. We will see. Oh, DNFs. I, I don't know. We'll, we will see. I, I have a feeling that William will not be eligible. Depends if he uh, makes Miami. Casual hits uh, the inside wall, leaves room for CH fan to take second away and now he's on his way to take the lead back casual kind of giving a bump to the back of the 90 in turn one or turn two he wants to hold on the second Sanders trying to get through this field he's gotten by Barry Ooh, CH fan and casual going a little bit wide one and two Letting Alpha pull a little bit of a gap right now. It's just half a second. Casual letting... Trying to get the switch back there. Not quite able to get it. D 
Tanner's diving to the inside. Clears. Oh, never mind. Does not clear hedge. Uh, we'll watch CH fan and casual as well. CH fan trying to stay in front of casual as Anders is trying to get back to his spot, this time getting moved out of the way by Barry. This race was going all so well for Nanners until that second caution. Now, head jumping into the wall. Logic now pulling it in. Oh my goodness, guys, you can finish the race. It's not. And DNFs. Oh my goodness. This kills me. How many of you won't finish the race? We're at like four. And now, CH fan. Slowly gaining time on Alpha. We'll look back when he's got more time. Nanner's moving. Very out of the way. This time he's going back to the inside. Yeah, Switch just, back. I don't know what Logic was thinking on that one. What? And he DNFs. And then he just parks it after. That that didn't sit with Nanners. That was a That was a dumb move. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of a dumb move. Like, let him buy. You you did like there was no competition around him. And we've been talking about respect and how everyone's been looking for it. Moves like that. And then immediately ah, That that's that just ain't the way. It is a a wild race tonight. I guess so. CH fan now really closing the gap up to Alpha. Casual still looking in, just a couple of tents back. I mean, Alpha's been looking for a win for a long time. CH fan's looking for his fourth win of the season, I believe. Casual wouldn't mind a win. Be nice for next season. As we've hit the 100 lap mark, now going to 101. 150 laps left in the race. We're not halfway yet. Alpha holding the inside. So he's trying to lose a little bit of time there. So he's trying now to the inside, taking the lead away. Got Alpha to the outside, still casual now. Right on the back bumper of Alpha. I just realized Jinty joined the race back. Oh, look what? at that. Look. Huh. Okay, so he's back. We've had two people DNF then come back. <laughs> Evento, let's not go down there. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting confused. CH fan going all the way to the apron to pass Alpha. He's gonna try to hold on to it through Logic three and four. Ain't even in the game. He's just gone. I mean, oof. Think he's mad. At what? Alpha and switch back, back to the inside, trying to take that lead away. Casual is just watching these two fight, and waiting for one of them to really mess up. Now he's looking in, trying to make it three wide. He's got the inside, trying to now take it away, uh, take away second. Oh, goes a little bit wide. CH fan with the switch back. They'll be side by side, right to the line. All this time he's gonna give uh, Nanner some time to catch up. Yeah, and it's gonna give Alpha a little bit of a lead. As he's slowly approaching on the two drivers that were a little indecisive about racing or not. Into oh. the wall there out of two. Same with Nanners. CH fan and Casual still side by side. Casual with the better exit. What's going to happen here in the turn one? Looks like they'll keep it single file. Casual doing. A great job right now for subbing. 
currently second for Radiant, who unfortunately just not able to make it. As now, Jinty and Avento looking pretty close to getting lapped here. A little bit of time here. Jinty goes wide, Avento take it, takes advantage. Oh, oh and Jinty's gonna turn him, and Avento flips on the back straight away. Look out. Caution is out. Oh, look out, Barry. Oh! Oh, oh. no. That's a pretty big crack. <laughs> Jinty, why did you stop? Stop on the back. Stop on the back. <laughs> oh, a horrific wreck on the back straight away. This has been, um, it just keeps getting wilder and wilder. <sighs> Let's take a look. Let's slow it down while we're at it. Why not? So Gen Z goes wide here and two. Avento goes by and clips the back of Jinty and then Alpha's gonna hit him and that flips him and then Jinty just either not at his computer or I don't know he just stopped on the racetrack and then Barry's gonna come along not have enough time and his slams in the back of Jinty and then hits the pit lane wall. That's a bumper lock. That's what the fuck? <laughs> You're right. And that will that brought out the caution. So, All right, let's go pacing. That's, you know. Throw an event goes into the pit wall. Once again. Edge will have the wave around. If you're gonna pit pit this time. Uh, that makes it four cars, I believe, uh, not on the lead lap. Oh, guys, what are you? That is. Not where you An interesting way to... Coma! And where's Coma? I told them he would do it! That I told them that Tim... I, I, I called it. That's all I'm gonna say. I called what? it. That they would use the wrong entry to pit lane. I told them that it would happen. Oh. Jinty. Uh, just... Oh, an Aventos. Oh. Oh. Look out. That's an interesting way to pit. Oh. oh, it happened again. <laughs> uh, junior, go around. Oh my god. Oh, and I did it too early. Here we go. Your speed broke, go through pit. Or just hit the... Yeah, just go through pits. Guess Hedge is gonna lead us off. He's apparently the leader, according to the scoreboard. So... Went from being a lap down to the leader. Guys, why don't we just wall ride? It obviously worked better before. <laughs> yeah, there you go. You, you guys got the spirit. Look at that. Now we're all bunched up. Oh, you guys are going too fast for... Oh, guys, guys. Oh. 189. How do you fuck up wall riding? It's because they went too fast. Guys, pit speed. Go Edge pit speed. Edge didn't pit. Guys, go pit speed. Not pit speed. Everybody's bumper locked. Everyone. 189. I don't know what I'm watching. <laughs> You're watching the MRL penultimate race of the season. Are we going to go green? Oh, wait, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, Hedge, I don't think you're supposed to be there. I mean, he didn't pit. And he got his lap back. No, he didn't. Our laps? How broken our laps? Um. 
Oh, CH fan went around one too many times, and now he's the leader. He's one lap ahead of everybody. Oh, and now I don't know what Alpha thinks is that Alpha. Why? What Alpha? What? What are you doing? No one told you to go around. Okay, hey, let's go green this time. So, everyone catch up. Oh boy. Alright, alright, alright. Barry. Oh. Green flag. Let's try this again. Barry to the inside, takes the lead away from Hedge. He's got his teammate behind him to either help him or hurt him. I'll try to bump him here. Helps him through the corner. Alpha takes second away. Hedge looking to the inside. Oh, uh oh. Three wide. Alpha takes the lead into three. Barry getting caught on the outside. Drops back. He did oh. not hit. Hedge. Everybody <laughs> else came in. Yeah. Every yeah. He got happened. the wave around, and then everybody <laughs> else pit but him. That is what happened. Alpha will take the lead back after nearly getting pinched with Hedge on the front straightaway. Barry blowing his way through. don't remember that. Here comes CH fan with a bump. Here comes Nanners with a bump to CH fan. Three wide out of four. Barry trying to hold off Nanners. Goes a little bit wide. Here comes CH fan and Hedge all pushing through. Every, if we had da realistic damage, everyone's bumper would be crushed in front and back. Oh. 123 laps complete. Alpha is starting to pull away. CHN looking to the inside. Takes away second. Andrew's getting a little bit of a legs back there. Barry moving CHN out of the way. Well, he'll take second away. And there's CHN diving to the inside. Qu couldn't quite get there. So Halfway believe, through the race. I believe uh, some drivers' tempers are starting to get a little bit thin. I have a slight feeling. Very starting to try to pull away. Satrin able to just gain so much time there. In turn three moves, Barry to the high line. And now they're side by side. As Alpha now has about a half of a, a second and a half of a gap. Barry <laughs> switching back. He takes second. Now Nanner's in the position to try to... The battle with these two is Satrin back to the inside. Oh my goodness, just send City over here. Barry will drop back behind Nanners. Nanners moves in the third. Barry looking low. Gets to the inside. Nanners coming down on him. They both lose a bunch of time. Nanners going wide there in turn one. And now CH fan is getting an opportunity to pull away. Edge holding it out there in fourth. I should really watch what I say. Barry diving to the inside. Edge going wide. Barry trying to make the pass for fourth here. He'll get by. Now casual coming through. I'm hearing tire marks. Avento has lost control. Gets into it with the pace car. What the fuck? I don't think Avento has that much control of his car. I don't even know what happened to Jinty. He's far back. Oh, casual crashing with Junior. What in the world? We stay green. William back in what? Who's in William's nope. car? What? what the fuck? Flip. Oh, yeah. Oh, and uh, Vento did flip on the front straightaway. What? Caution. Racing back. Who's on what the back straightaway? The... What? Oh. That was Radiant. Okay. Stop on the back. 
I am. A thousand things just happened within those three laps, and I don't think we. I don't think anyone understood any of it. I need to go get a drink. I think I do too. You no, know let's all collectively take a short break. Evento, I don't know where you're going. All right, let's just all take a quick second. We'll, 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 we'll be back. This is this is crazy. Welcome everybody back to Myrtle Beach Speedway. We are under a red flag as uh, we are trying to come back together as it's been a full moon event tonight here at Myrtle Beach with championship implications kind of going out the window with Evento going about 33 laps down. Race recap right now, it's been chaos. That's what I'd have to say. So let's see if we can go back here soon as we are under... Red flag here on lap 134. I am back, I think. Um, I, I think somebody wall rode too much. So we're going to say CH fan has the fastest lap. Maybe. Who wall rode too much? Um, oh my god, yeah. take a look. Who's going backwards? Jinty, what the fuck are you doing? Trying to get disqualified, I see. Oh! Yeah! Dinty, we're trying to yeah, calm Hedge, down so we're more are, mature. Okay. Why are you going backwards? You, you, whatever. I don't. Okay, um. Oh, okay. You gonna have a talk with the drivers, or did you already have a talk with the drivers? I would have a talk if I knew what the fuck happened. I have an idea. Um, I have a suggestion. My suggestion is stop killing each other. That'd be a good Why suggestion. Um, because everybody was gone. Anyways, we're gonna go back to going under yellow, so everybody get in your fucking cars. Okay, let's go pacing. Barry. Oh. 
Whew, let's hope the second half is a little better. I hope. If you're going to pit pit this time, pace on the high side. I don't think the wall is a good idea. Yeah, not the wall. And Evento has. Two, three, managed four, to five. Up. Everybody's coming in. Oh, and they're gonna turn each other while I've they come in. I've heard gaggle. Oh, jeez. Oh, Barry missed his pit stop. Oh. Oh, that's gonna. What? And then what? So did. What is? I feel like there might be a couple of penalties coming out of this, and Junior's um, still not in his pit box. Still not in his pit box. There he goes, he finally gets into his pit box. And there's second, I believe, out. I don't entirely yeah. know. Yeah. Let me... Oh my goodness. Okay, so... Barry just misses it entirely. Slaps Junior. Casual turns in way too early. Slaps Junior. And then Junior just... Couldn't... <laughs> Barry, you'll have a grid drop for pit lane violation. It won't count more towards one out of three, but... What about casual? Casual. Um... As that didn't help Junior at all. Yeah. What is Avento I... doing? Okay. Yeah, casual and Barry to the back of the field. For pit lane violations. Oh, Avento. Avento. Into pit lane. Just don't pit him until he'll be fine. I recommend you stop wall riding. Because that situation was different, Jinty. This wasn't the same kind of situation. Evento! To the back. Evento thought he was up front. Because hey. Last lap of pacing. Let's go green this time. <laughs> All right. Okay. Ooh. Vinto, you had your option. You did not take it. Pace car comes in. They get punched up a little bit there in the back. And we're back under green. Cleanest restart all night. And it still wasn't that clean. Nanner's looking to the inside, wants to take the lead back. Kind of got C spin into the wall there. And now Alpha looking in. Got the inside lane. Gonna hold it through the front straightaway. It's a bump here from CH Man. Hedge dives into the corner. Oh my goodness. He goes to third. And now he'll be on the inside. Trying to get. CH ran now back on the inside. Hedge drops back a little bit, trying to get behind Nanners, but Casual is there. <clears throat> and now Alpha starting to pull away once again, everyone going single file. Barry making a dive to the inside, trying to get past Hedge. Ooh, Hedge gives the bumper to Barry, and he's going to go through. It's now casual. Oh my goodness, Hedge dive bombing into turn one again. I don't think that's how you race the track, buddy. Casual looking in. Uh, Nanner's trying to take third away. He's got to the corner panel. And Nanners will leave enough room. He'll drop back to fourth. Ooh, a little bit too early on the snap. CH fan now. Next time I catch you using the wall, it's a penalty. CH fan now. Right up to the back bumper of the 10. Gives them a bump heading into turn one. 
take the lead. Edge, I also need two. you to be more mindful of others next incident to penalty. Ooh, and this time Alpha's the one giving the bumper to CH, and this one puts him right into the wall. Alpha, next incident to penalty. Ooh, and casual. Looked like he lagged into turn one. CH right now looking to the inside. Got his nose in there. Gonna be able to maybe take away the lead here through one and two. He's got the advantage, but Alpha holding on to that outside lane. Still holding on to the lead. Now coming into three, Zetron will take it. They're still side by side, right to the line. Alpha really just trying to keep that lead. And now, uh, CHM will now clear Alpha, heading into three. Ooh, Alpha hitting the inside wall, drops back a little bit, just by a car length. And we now have 150 laps to go. No, no, we have 100 laps to go. 100 laps to go, close enough. Yeah, 50 <laughs> laps goes by pretty quick. You wouldn't notice if it was 300 laps. What? No, wait, let's go with 300 laps, Jeremy. Let's go 300 laps. No. Why not? It'd be fun. You're bad at math. That's why I thought I was struggling at math. And it, it'd be only another 20 minutes or so. <laughs> Everyone getting spread out. Nanner's going a little bit wide. It's going to leave room for Genty, let's use our brakes a bit more. Next time I catch you using the wall, it's a penalty. Oh, casual hitting the inside wall. He'll drop back a little bit. That inside wall is deadly. You hit it and you lose a bunch of time. You know, no matter hitting it right in turn three and four. Taking a look at Avento, still just struggling. That internet is not helping him. Oh, oh no. Avento, stay high. Stay high. It's like he's got, like, two seconds worth of ping. It's just... He's, like, two seconds behind everybody else. I wouldn't be surprised. He's 36 laps down. Is Casual making a move to the inside, trying to take third away? Is Barry... Might try to use Avento's draft if... And again, draft isn't very strong here, so... Andrew's giving the bumper to the back of Casual. Gonna try to get through. Now Casual with the switch back. Let's take a look back at CHN and Alpha. Alpha still. A couple car links back. Back into turn three, Nanners moving casual out of the way. Here comes Barry. Barry tried to get to the inside, couldn't quite make it work. Now casual looking in, might bring Barry with him. Barry shoots it three wide. He's gonna try to take third away. Couldn't quite keep the speed out of the corner. Nanners going way up high. Is... He keeps it together. I think of... I sort of. I don't know. I mean, I want Avento I to keep going, to... but Avento is going to bring out a caution if he keeps racing. Like, oh, and he pulls into the bits. Oh. Okay. Back up front. We got a battle for the lead. Alpha to the inside. Let's try to... Catch all of the action. Alpha is your new leader. And he's trying to pull away from third, but he's got two other cars to fight with. CH fan taking back the lead. Alpha with the switch back. He's to the inside. Someone's spinning out. And oh, Nanner's into the wall. Kind of gives a bumper to Casual. Moves him out of the way. Nanners will take third back. And same's going on up front with Alpha and CH Fan. 
These two are still just, <laughs> these two are just swapping positions. I meant to up on the wall letting everybody pass. Hedge is now coming back into the equation. Alpha's starting to try to pull away. Casual looking to the outside. Well, Alpha going a little bit wide. Sage Man tried to go to the inside. Couldn't quite make it work as my arms are going to cramp up here in a minute. <laughs> Casual giving a bump to Nanners. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> He's two up front. We'll just keep swapping positions. I'm just gonna stop watching him. It's getting more interesting back here. Very able to start pulling away. Casual. They're in fourth. Nanners will drop back behind Hedge. Vento. As flipped. That'll bring out the next caution. I believe this is caution number five of the night. Oh, as he goes back up in front of traffic, he's just going to wait till everybody's through. And Jinty wants to cause trouble. So he's going to go up and hit a Vento as well. Oh, you guys went around again. Okay. Oh, keep going around, I guess. Oh, keep going, guys. I guess CH Fan and Alpha didn't Stop know. Oh, whatever. CH Fan and Alpha did a bad. Stop on the back. So CH fan and Alpha, you stop after you cross the line, just saying. Or you, you go to the back stretch. You don't keep going around. Fundamental things here. Don't worry, we're all learning together. Yeah, there's next sense and it's a penalty. Nanners cannot see chat casual. That was her recklessness, Nanners. Alright, cool, let's go pacing. You're gonna pit pit this time. Oh. Today it's been an interesting night. Let's see who goes in the pit lane this time. CH fan. And Avento. And Jinty. Wants the pit too. <laughs> I. <laughs> okay, I guess he's gonna go pit two. I don't. <laughs> Let's not do that again. Oh my goodness, Avento is having the night of his life right now. He nearly goes a lap down. No, he's already a lap down. Another he has a lap, down. lap down. He almost went another lap down. Under caution while pitting. Oh, man, bumper locks. <sighs> 172 laps just about to be complete. Five cautions. Um, I'm going to go and take a look if it's a full moon or not because I don't. Or I'm going to note down whatever moon it is and to know that this league gets a little crazier on whatever it is. Let's see. Is it going to tell me what moon we're in right now? A waxing crescent. Okay, so whenever we're in a waxing crescent, it's a crazy night. Okay. Um, this will be our last lap of pacing. Oh. I hope. I'm waiting for the penalties to be handed out, though. A lot of people are on warnings. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, let's go green. 
Try to at least. <laughs> I was gonna just about to say. And green flag, Nanners had a horrible start. Gente, what's your obsession with restarting on the wall? Like, you can restart on the pavement, you don't need to be wall riding. You've done that the last two restarts. Up front, Alpha and Barry will start the battles. Everyone's together up there in the back. Oh, he's going. Big pack of four back here. Barry staying behind Alpha. Nanners, ooh. Casual kind of came down on Nanners' nose. Casual getting past Hedge. Oh, and Nanners going wide. CH1 with the switch back. Junior looking in on the apron, as Junior is on the lead lap. Everyone but two are on the lead lap. Oh, as... we went dope. Uh oh, what? stay high, stay high. I don't even know what he did that time. Oh, Jinty. Jinty. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I think something should be done about this 56 star. He's just getting a little too silly. Personal opinion. Seems to be a common thing. Yeah. We're getting there. Everyone up front getting single file. More chaos going on here in the back. Oh, and Avento just kind of sending the 56 a little bit there. He'll pull off and then lag into turn three. This is not Avento's night. I don't think this is anybody's night. Casual up to Barry's bumper, looking on the outside. To stay with him. Everyone kind of getting spread out here. The first time tonight. Right. Good, nice. Um, and oh, casual. Just didn't understand. Various breaking zones sent him right up the racetrack. He'll take second away. CH Fan and uh, Edge is going to be battling here. CH Fan moving Hedge out of the way. And he's stuck right there in sixth. Had a beautiful start to the race, but just hasn't been able to capitalize on any of these restarts. Heads with the switchback, moves CH ran out of the way and into the wall. Casual look to hit the outside. Oh, wall. Nanners! In what happened there? Pit lane. I don't think that was pit. intentional. No, yeah, no, I don't imagine. Nanners, did you get sent into pits? Wiggle if you did. He did not wiggle. I think it Speed lagged. Broke. Him. Oh. Okay, merge with whoever you were on. Did not get gas, that's all. That's what's important. Yeah. Did not get gas. Alright, um... Who's with Genty? Battle here is good. I guess he's not going to merge. No, now he is. That's a bad spot. There you go. CHN will take the spot away. Manners will now be right with CHN and Hedge. Hedge trying to get past CHN. These two are just swapping. Oh, Avento into the pit lane now. He is. Buddy, I'm just saying, at this point. I'd understand before, but now it's a little... Maybe just wait until the... I don't know. I don't know. I Avento, it's pretty bad. It's looking pretty bad for you right now. It, this is just... The points do matter, so don't DNF, but... It's just not his night. Edge and... Uh... Nanner's now battling as CHN was able to get clear of these two. Nanner's will try to get on through. Let's see if 
Edge will try to battle for the position. We'll give him a little bit of bump here through two, uh, three. It looks like we'll keep it together. Casual trying to catch up to Alpha. Got a pretty big gap between him and Barry. Barry. Maybe getting past here soon. By CH fan. We'll see. And Andrew's trying to get clear of Hedge. He goes wide there in one and two. And into the wall. Out of two as well. It's everyone. Literally everyone pretty much spaced out. Junior Smith and Jinty will be the only cars not spaced out currently in the field. I'll keep my eyes on a couple of set of drivers. This is not a battle for a position, but it is a battle of cars. It's something. Oh, look, cars going around a circle. I want to watch that. And now we have something to watch. See, it's Finn and uh, Barry. See, it's now getting past Barry. Barry's going to try to hold on to that position. They'll get past him. They'll keep... He'll hold on to third. But CHN's right there on his bumper. Try to bump him out of the way here. It's to his inside, and he clears him. Very now to the back bumper of the 90. Looking to the inside. Can't quite get it there. Riding along with Barry on the right. Looks to the inside. Well, that didn't work too well, did it? Clears him through three, uh, two. CSN's gonna bump him out of the way. This is this is good for Nanners as he's starting to slowly catch up to these two. I keep hearing tire marks. Someone keeps hitting the wall. It had be a vento. Ha. Poor Vento. I mean came in as the championship leader. DNF from the race after unbearable internet and is just trying to get some sort of points out of this race. Currently sitting in 8th, 42 laps down. We just got 50 to go. Now 49 as Alpha crosses the line. Oh, casual lagging. He's going to lose third, uh, second. He's going to go back to third. Big lag spike for the 38. Barry looking in, couldn't quite get it. Casual trying to get the spot back. He's going to move CHN out of the way. Oof. Going to get to his quarter panel. And now, with the help of Barry, pass him here out of two. Not quite clearing him, but into three. CHN trying to get a run on that outside. Not quite going to get one. He'll drop back behind Barry now. And Alpha's got... Almost three seconds of a gap. CH man just moving Barry out of the way. Oof. And now Nanners might be coming into the equation as well. Alpha now coming up on lap traffic. He's got Junior Smith who will just pass him by. Jinty coming up soon. Casual leads this group. 45 laps to go. Alpha with two and a half seconds of a lead now as everyone in this rear pack has kind of realized that battling isn't the greatest idea. And they're also just getting more spread out naturally. Alpha getting close to pass and Jinty. Kind of gives them a bumper into one. Clears them out of two. Alpha extending his lead now. As Nanners looks to be maybe trying to get past the Barry here. Nanners right using that bumper. 
Couldn't quite get him out of the way there. I'll bump him out of the way here. Well, couldn't quite get him. Very absorbed that one. It's Junior gonna move out of the way for casual. And CH fan. And Barry and Hainers nearly coming to a stop on the racetrack. Jinty now coming into the equation for these four. The big gap starting to form between CH Finn and Barry. Oh, Nanner's hitting the inside wall. He is going to drop back a couple of car lengths. Casual, kind of using Jinty as a wall. Just a little bit. Jinty's going to stay up on the high side. Not cause any issue. Alpha still got about a half, uh, second and a half of a gap. Casual slowly gaining just a little bit each lap. If you want to believe that scoreboard, which we know how accurate it's been in the past, well, that time I don't believe it. Anders still trying to get past that 17 car. Just now being able to catch up to him, inserts his way in through. That was a squeeze. <laughs> a little bit. I'm surprised he made that work. Oh my goodness. And he's going to leave the bottom wide open that time for Barry to take. Oof. Oh, and that time Barry hits the pit lane wall. Nanners will get through. Oh, and then he hits the wall again on the exit of four. Nanners. Dive, dives his way into one, couldn't quite get to Jinji's guard panel this time. He's right to his door, and he'll get past him. Jinji will let them by. Oh, he'll let, yeah, he'll let them by. And now CH Fan Casual battling as Alpha gets past Avento. This is the battle for second. Casual on the inside, CH Fan on the outside. We've seen these two battle before. Nanners, were Nanners, as things stand, will be three points ahead of Avento going into Miami. If he keeps his current position. If he keeps his current position. Oh, so they swap. Okay. They will be swapping, it seems. Oh, so, the junior flip? Yeah, he did. Oh, my goodness. Racing back. How did... Oh... Why the cars flipping? That was a race back stop on the back. Well, this will group everybody back together. Definitely a lot more of a calm run that time around. Let me take a look. I had no looks at it. I didn't even know he flipped. I didn't even know where he was at. Oh, I can see the skid marks. I can see something. I'll just take a look at it. Why not? Oh, there it is. On the front straight away, you can see someone went a little oh. bit too low and flipped. Jinty. What did Jinty do? What? Okay, Nanners. Okay. Why are you guys yelling at CH fan? Are you yelling at CH fan? Oh, did he? Oh. Oh, well, I can take care of that. Anyways. Or we're going pacing. Yep. Let's go pacing. Oh, it's okay. Oof. What? No. Go ahead. No penalties. Well, everyone's Anyways, keeping it clean. Black flag for the 56. Drive through. Excessive serving. Junior looking to maybe get a lap back. 
Okay, let me look at the restart. Alright, the race back. If you're gonna pit pit this time. You guys should know the drill by now. And Jinty will be the oh only one to pit. Oh, Avento goes there too. What is Jinty is not going to pit. Okay, never mind. Oh, that's the wrong button. I'm sorry. Uh you guys gonna let I think Junior needs to get a lap back. Yeah, Junior, go ahead. There you go. Yay! <laughs> he was waiting for you to say it. I think. Avento, go on. Get yeah. gas, gas. And then... Black flag for the 90. Grid drop for wall, dri wall, for wall riding. And he'll drop back. Oh, an Avento. Well, uh... Why While riding right while tapping is interchangeable. Oh, no. The Vento. I don't think he was in control. Also, control yourself. He said control, by the way, guys. <laughs> I'll drop back. See, so you got a couple of more cars you need to get let behind you, I think. Is that how good drops work, right? Yeah. Yeah, you gotta let. At least two of them, I or three. I don't know about Avento. Yeah, we'll let Avento be um, Caboose, so it's probably safer for everybody. <laughs> He's gonna be the F1 pace car. Yep. Alright, this will be our last lap of pacing. I hope. Well, Jinty wall ride on the restart this time is the question. Get stacked up. Going green this time. Nanners. And uh yes, Jinty green will. Oh. Jinty dropped behind the ninety and the eighty. We'll Number fifty six will have a drive through to serve. Alpha able to get a good start there, Nanners. Going in the second. Casual in third. Edge moving his way to fourth. 25 laps to go. Oh, casual going really wide. Holds up Nanners, lets Hedge and Barry catch up. He might have lagged there midway through the corner or just had a bad entry. We'll go high here again. Ooh, that was Casual, close. let's be a bit more careful. Next incident's a penalty. Hedge the second. Here comes Barry barreling through. Here comes Nanners as well. Barry, same goes for you. Nanners gets the second, Hedge on the outside, goes wide, and he'll fall back. So they're three wide, CH Man able to now catch up with the leaders. Nanners goes wide, here comes Barry on the inside. They'll keep ho hold the second, but oh, Hedge is battling here right now for fourth. He wants Casual to top tap the wall. He wants a top five finish. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. That's what happens. Man. Alpha starting to slowly pull away once again. Nanners to the back of the 17. And this time he overshoots the corner. Barry will get the switch back. It's casual making a pass there as well. Nanners to the bumper. Using his bumper. Barry coming down a little bit there. So they're three wide behind those two. CH Man with the advantage. Barry making a pass here in turn one and two. Andrew's got a little bit of help there through the corner. And oh! Oh! Barry he hits, hits the, the wall. wall. Oh! What the fuck? Everyone's losing control. My goodness, Andrew's using that bumper again. Move CH Man out of the way. Oh, CH Man. Be a bit more careful next incident the penalty. Everyone getting held up here. Oh my goodness. That wall is dangerous <laughs> in turn four. Yanner's able to get by everybody. 
Edge taps the wall. Everybody's starting to oh. tap the wall more. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Almost. <laughs> These guys got warnings for that. There we go. Flag, flag for the 17. Grid drop to be served next restart. Reckless driving. Man. You know, I'm going to bring up one little topic. And, you know, it's just kind of funny. With how much these guys are yelling about respect, I think it's been at least a little bit lost, especially today, where at least using the bumper has been very common. Yeah. Probably a bit my fault. I am struggling to tonight. Yeah. I think everybody is, but it's just... I think I've seen every single car move every, someone out of the way multiple times tonight, so... If I hear anything about respect, Barry. I call you a hypocrite, a hypocrite about it. I start being a bit more careful. If that happens everybody. again, it's getting upgraded. But I have my select few who keep using it. Let's see, Alpha still your leader. Andrew's slowly catching up. He's got casual right behind him as Jinty gets passed by the ten. Oh yeah, that's true. Radiant hasn't sent anybody out of the way. He's a base car driver. He, he can't send anybody out of the way. He's supposed to be up front. People can send him out of the way, but... CH fan, uh, not CH fan. Casual, slowly losing time to Nanners. As Nanners just trying to claw back uh, on Alpha's lead. Edge into the wall. I'm not sure what happened there. Gonna be with the Junior Smith. Junior a lap down. Yeah, I haven't seen every driver do it. Oops. Looks like CH fan might have lagged and got into the wall there. So, he'll be more with Barry now. As now, Anders and Casual getting past Jinty. Who is 51 laps down? Let's see, that is uh, about eight laps to go. Am I correct? Oh, there goes uh, the Yes. Eight laps to go. And Nanner's oh, current yeah, position, fine. I think, is going to be a little bit more than three points ahead. Black flag for the 56. Good job to be served next restart. Wall riding. Oh, Avento slams the back of the 38. And nearly yeah, hits the, the wall. He's just going to let him by. Ugh. Nanners about a second back. Casual a second behind Nanners. CH fan slowly gaining time. And behind that is Barry. He nearly killed somebody that's going on. That's, that's what's going on. Oh, casual lags into turn three. Loses a bunch of time. And now CH fan's right to his bumper. Anders also losing a little bit of time. Casual holding the inside lane. Oh, Nanners. Having a leg spike of his own. My goodness. Everyone's got to have one. I even had one earlier, so. Roblox is a uh, great platform. No problems for anyone at all. Multi billion dollar company, everybody. Casual to the inside of CH fan. Barry now starting to catch up here as Nanners is about two seconds back now. Oh, CH fan slams the back of the 38, moves him out of the way, and then takes the position. Black flag for the 90. I think. Yep. Bridge drop to be served next restart. Reckless driving. Here's where all the penalties are starting to get handed out here at the end of the race. Yep. One to go. White flag. Didn't even Freeze notice. Is finalized. Alpha. Definitely dominant through parts of today. Comes out of turn number four and is going to win at Myrtle Beach. Anders will get second. 
Barry is going to steal fourth. Edge there. It's sixth. Remember, everybody stop on the back straight away. That includes you, Alpha. And Barry. Oh. Alright, I have everything. Put my graphics. Oh, okay. No fun. Alpha ends his winless streak right here at the end of the season. Let me get my camera. All right. Damn. I'm going to let you take care of that. I need to go piss. Okay. After definitely a long race, Alpha will now do his burnouts. Here, let me get on this side because the sun's over here. Go this way. I'm going backwards. Whoa. Almost hit me. And he goes on the victory lane square. Oh, winner. You're actually happy, Avento? You know, I don't want to interview anybody right now, but we'll think. I'll think about it. All right, Alpha. Want to get out of your car? Oh, don't end the stage. That is not the button I want to press. Uh, let's hope you're able to talk. Are you able to talk? Hello, can you hear me? Can you hear yes, me? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Bye. Okay, Avento, yeah. get out of here. Get out of here. You're not the winner. Oh my god. Never mind. Oh. Oh my god. Thank you, Genty. Actually, there now I don't have to worry about it anymore. Alright, Alpha, finally ending the winning streak, and what better track than a short track? How are you feeling? How the oh short? my god, I'm relieved, bro. I believe- I I'm... could believe it. Let's see, this makes it your third win of the season? Or fourth? Yes, sir. Your third win of the season. Your last win, uh, remind me where your last one was. It was at Road America, the oh, fifth wow. race of the uh, season, I believe. Yeah, so, I mean, you were dominant throughout all of today. Um, I'm struggling here on questions. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Why is every race such a... Okay. Every race I win is like bad for everyone else, and everybody's mad. Is everybody I hate this. mad? I, yes, I, everybody's mad. I would believe so. What? Oh wow. Okay. There. Yeah. People are mad. Um. I mean, out of ten, how would you rate tonight's race? Out of ten, um. Oh my, oh my God. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. But uh, out of ten, obviously I'm gonna be a little biased, so I'm gonna say eleven out of ten. Okay. No, I'm joking. I'm uh, honest opinion. It's gonna be about a seven. Officiating could have been a little better, but my happiness is kind of masking that. So. Um, I don't have any other questions. Do you have anything else to say? I know, um... No, except for, uh, sorry for Avento, and I guess, uh, congrats to Nanners for the championship at this point. I mean, it's gonna be like the way five, It's gonna be like tonight. five points, so... Oh, five points? Oh, never mind, forget seven. what I said. Forget what I said. Okay, well, you're going back to hell. Uh, since I don't know who else to interview, Avento, where are you? You were last time I saw you. You were near Alpha. Oh, there you are. Hey. I see you walking. Can I even get spawn? Can I even spawn my car at this point? I don't know. It's your buttons. Um. 
All right, Avento. Definitely struggled on lag tonight. What happened? I mean, uh, I was in a hurry because I had to change uh, homes between my dad's and my mom's. And I figured out that every single race I'm doing in my mom's house, the internet is always shitty. So oh. I'm not even that surprised. Will this be resolved next week? Or is it yeah. going to be a continuing problem? I hope it's not going to be a major problem going to Phoenix. Uh, especially with the five point gap, probably even more. Somewhere around five. That I need. Yeah. I need to basically sweep the entire week and hope that Nenis gets a better result. Mm hmm. Uh, definitely. I mean, you're going to be a little bit behind the points since uh, this is going to be the first time you've been passed in points since uh, a few races ago. I don't even remember. But um, do you think you can dominate at Homestead? I mean, the track's been open for the last couple of weeks. Do you think. I think... Oh, quite saying my bad. I mean, and we also know that Nanich is great at intermediate intermediates. So. I mean, do you think um... you can beat him? And win the championship? I am sure that with enough practice uh, and a little bit of help from my crew chief, I can certainly win. Um, Phoenix, I'm going to practice like hail entire week, non-stop, because I'm focused to that championship and only that championship. <laughs> All right. Uh, anything else to add on to tonight? I mean, you were kind of uh, just going around the racetrack. Yeah, I was just like, you know, if I'm lagging. Uh, that was some point I was going 30. From 189 to 30 because of the lag. And uh, GG for Alpha. Deserved the race. Chinti was a nice guy because he was battling with me for some times. Because we were like basically 50 laps down so it was fun times with him sorry for anyone that uh, i wrecked with i did not have attention any single time and sorry for the amount of cautions that i bring to sorry all right well back to hell i want to hear from someone that was in the middle of the pack uh barry don't worry we'll keep doing interviews barry where are you Oh, yeah, I I'm Stop walking. I'm going to my pick box. Okay. Let me go to my pick box. Stop. All right, so Barry, uh, unofficially something. I see that there's some beef between you and Radiant. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Uh, do you want to explain what's going on there? He wanted me to become. He wanted me to slow down so casual can get fourth, so he can stay mathematically in the competition. To be blunt. Interesting. But I mean, knew uh, Radiant coming in was route seventeen <laughs> points behind, and with the fifth place finish in the, in the thirty-eight, it's not going to be really helping, especially with Nanders getting a second place finish. So we'll see <laughs> if he's content in contention. Next week. Uh, other than that, a little drama bit. What did you think about tonight's race? I did very well, surprisingly. And it was actually pretty good for the race. Really? Huh. Yeah. I still want to know who's actually the legitimate winner for the fastest lap. <laughs> I want to know, know that too. I want to know that too. It's either me or... I don't it's, believe it's that it's a Vento. <laughs> nah, nah, it's a hedge, honestly. Let's be real here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's hedge either. <laughs> you know, that 15.9 lap is... That just, just, just doesn't seem like it's the right lap. Um, I'm getting Are we talking about the fastest laps? Sorry for yeah. joining in late. Yeah. We'll... Um, I'm getting told Yeah, that it's it will probably go to Barry. Okay. Considering everything, um, there's a lot of evidence against everybody if, ahead of him for uh, wall riding. So. I did see um, Nanners tap the wall a few times, presumably there's some lags, so that could explain his better time. Oh, oh I joined the wrong side. Levels. Um, I will admit, 
I was probably a big factor in tonight's issues. Uh, I am sorry about it. Uh, should have taken more measures to make sure that it wasn't so shitty. But, um... No wonder this track got torn down. Damn. Don't say that. Damn. <laughs> All right, hey, it's still, anything, it's else still add? anything else to add? Anything else to add? It's still a great chat. It's just still a great track. I'll be honest there. You have insulted Colin. Bam. All right. Uh, anything else, Barry? Nah. Have fun. Okay, cool. Edge, quick interview for you. Because uh, I know you haven't you wanted one. Where are you? You're over here. Yay! It's been a while since I've been up here. All right. Hello, Hedge. Unofficially hey. sixth. What did you think about the race tonight? Uh, I thought it was great. I liked it. I didn't piss anybody off. I did. I did. I performed good. I got six out of I don't know how many cars. Uh, I did good. I'm gonna rate it ten out of ten. I didn't piss anybody off today, and I got no penalties. You know, I am extremely right. surprised this race is getting good reviews. I can't wait for Homestead. All right, Homestead's my last genuine chance to get a W or finish it with a podium. I could have gotten fifth, but the car got so tight I couldn't catch up. Mm -hmm. Overall, GG's to everybody. I tried racing everybody respectfully, and I hope I didn't fuck anybody over. Uh, I, I, uh, I just want to say congratulations to Alpha. He got his winless streak broken. Uh, I'm never going to end mine uh, yet. <laughs> Uh, uh, T-Man, it's been, it's been an honor raising for you. I can't wait to end it off with a good one at Homestead. Oh, well, let's, we'll hope for a win for you, Hedge. So far, we'll I'll whip up a season. final ride paint job, and, uh, yeah. All right, I'll be looking to showcase for it. Um. Thank you all for, thank you all for having me here. It's been fun, uh, competing with y'all, compete, competing with y'all. Uh, good luck to Avento, because yeah, he's going to be taking over my ride. Uh, yeah. Uh, thank you for having me here. Yeah. Uh, good, good race, Yummy. Good race, good race, good commentary, team, and uh, good everything. Okay, thank you, Hedge. I'm not gonna move back down. Anders, do you want an interview? Uh, respond in whatever chat. Sure? Okay, well, this will be the last one. I just want to hear your opinions on the race unofficially. Ooh. I'm just gonna go on you. Zoom in on your pit box. Unofficially, it's second. Nanners, how are you feeling about tonight? I'm a little... Mm, I don't know. I'm conflicted. You're conflicted? On one hand, it is very lucky, sorry, Evento, that you got completely fucked over. Because if that had that not happened, I would probably not be leading the points. Um, on the other hand, I'm really pissed off that I didn't win this race. Like, very pissed off that I didn't win this race. You were one to watch for, especially at the beginning of the race. You were pulling away from everybody. Just these restarts. I, I think it was just these restarts, man, that were killing you. I don't I don't know what it is about this fucking controller, but I will literally get to a point and it will just not break. I was chasing Alpha, and I just didn't break and got into the wall. It's like, well, guess that's, uh, guess that's the fucking... That's how it ends. Yeah, I don't know what the... My speed ended up breaking too, and I realized it really late that I was just getting caught up with people, and people kept pulling away because people were fighting. I mean, obviously it's second, but it's not fucking mm -hmm. first, so. Uh, well, I mean, you're going to be leading the points, going in the homestead by a little bit of a margin. So you very well could wrap up the championship next week. So, um... That'll be an interesting battle for you. I mean, it's an intermediate. We know your performance at intermediates. Uh, are you confident going in the homestead? I don't know. I haven't practiced, so we'll see. We'll see. Uh, anything else to add on top of tonight? Um, no, I got nothing. All right, back to health then. Uh, all right. Well, thank you for interviews. Yep. We'll have a post race of some kind. Probably won't be very long. I want to talk to people and see what's going on. So, of course.
Uh, but thank yeah. you guys for watching the race. We will see you very soon in the post race, of course. So make sure you're sticking in, tuning in for that. Of course, uh, hope everybody enjoyed the race, and we will see you in a couple of minutes. Ending this.
Here we go. Welcome everybody back to Myrtle Beach Speedway. We'll get ready for the post race show. We got Yummy and Coma here in the booth. All right, I don't know how you guys want to start this off, but uh, what a long race, 250 laps. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was a grueling one, that was for sure. Um, definitely some things left on the table, of course, but what's done is done. So, um, they were just a little bit of consequences. But it was an interesting race, even through it all. But, mm. yeah. Uh, so, to preface this, based on the D2 experience, I might have told Yummy that we'd see decent racing or boring racing for about 20 laps with nothing happening. And then we just get into lap cars. <laughs> Needless to say, I was I was proven extremely wrong. Oh my god, there was, I I think everywhere, the fact that the top five practiced as hard as they were and they were the same pace really helped. Because if if people didn't practice a whole lot like they did this week, we could have seen a much different race. So it's it's really nice to see the drivers putting in the effort that a track like this deserves and demands, especially Barry, getting the fastest lap. He put, he broke the he was the only legitimate driver to break the sixteen barrier, which only a hand like two people have done, including myself. So Barry, mm -hmm. so proud of you. I made I mean fourth place finish, leading fastest lap. I mean, as a as your coach and as your future teammate, I cannot ask for anything better. So thank so great job. Alpha, we finally got the dub. We got revenge for Nashville. Feeling on top it of the took world. Took him a while. <laughs> yeah. But I, I'm not gonna lie. I don't think he was the favorite to win it up until maybe the last 50 or so laps. Yeah. I it mean, was... it was LSR all day long. I'm, I am su I'm not surprised, but I'm also surprised at the same time. If that makes sense. Like it's just, you, it's just starting to be expected from them with what kind of performances they're putting in week in, week out. I mean, they're constantly just running up front. It seems nothing can stop them yeah, Manners, except themselves. Nanners was so strong early in the race. He was pulling away. It looked like what Alpha was doing late in the race, but it, I think he just couldn't recover with these cautions. The way everyone was treating each other on the track, it just, he couldn't get up front. And then again, he was having the controller issue where it just wasn't responding to his input. So really unfortunate for Nanners, but still... He is pretty. In, he's in a great spot heading in the homestead. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, with Vento struggles and then Radiant as well, they have the best time of it at Vegas. Kind of continued it into here. Had to have a sub. Uh, just didn't. He just didn't feel confident that he'd be able to do well in the race. And I mean, I mean his substitute casual did pretty well, but I just I don't know if it made up enough. Yeah, yeah that, that was a major dice roll, putting your championship contention hopes into a sub, which previously hasn't really had super great, you know, finishes. I mean, he had a drive through coming into this race due to a last lap incident. So, Radiant might be, there. there's definitely, by the way, some drama happening currently. Mm -hmm. The race drama is blowing up. Or it was okay. before, and he's really mad at Barry for the, the the finish because he bumped Casual out of the way unintentionally and ended up uh, made Casual finish behind him. But can you really blame Barry or even Casual? I mean, you put your own championship hopes into someone else due to, in all intents and purposes, a skill issue. That is kind of yeah. insane to me. And then the fact that you complain about it afterwards. I mean. If I were to do something like that, that would never happen, by the way. If I were to do something like that, if something happened that was out of my control, I'd be like, you know what? It sucks. It really does. And I'm out of this, but I did it to myself. I don't think Radiant has anyone to be mad at. He was also, by the way, obviously we have our ASR booth. We finally were able to have Alpha in the VC. I didn't have to type to him. It was a great day. Radiant was watching the stream of our comms and he was like not begging me but he was really really trying to get me to let 
casual win instead of Alpha, and Alpha just said no. I mean, he wanted the win, and he definitely deserved it, so... I yeah, think definitely. Radiant, you, can't, you can't be a choosing beggar, Radiant, unfortunately. You, yeah, I mean, that's... you made the decision to sit out, and you paid the price for it. Yeah. And that's one of the things about motorsports, right? I mean, you're playing sport like baseball or football. It's It's one team versus another, right? There's only two different sides of the the ball game when you're out on a motorsport there's ton there's dozens of other teams out there all shooting for the same goal and you know inevitably something's gonna go wrong that's completely outside of your control we saw it happen at vegas and then radiant tried to gamble and same thing happened other people are taking their own races into control you know they're sure there's some team orders here and there but at the end of the day Motorsports mainly about the individual when it comes to on track actions. So it's just you've got to take your own, you, you've got to make your own luck here on the track. And unfortunately, that just didn't work out for Radiant this second half of the season. He's been continuing to just hurt. And then, you know, same thing with Vento. Vento had a horrible night tonight. Oh, yeah. We want to talk about that. Vento was pretty well expected to be running up front today i mean he has historically done super well at short tracks i think a lot of his wins have come at short tracks so coming into the tonight we were expecting a vento maybe not to be fighting for the win but to be fighting near it and then getting into the race and then he just has this horrible lag issue that could persist through the rest of the night he caused all but one of the all but two of the cautions tonight and that is insane. That is, yeah. You know, in that position, some, one of my pet peeves is leaving a race and not completing it. But in Avento's case, it almost would have been he acceptable to. He that. probably, <laughs> I mean, I'm glad he came back. But at that point, when you're bringing out cautions, you need to, you just kind of need to leave. Like, I'm yeah. saying, for people, for drivers like Logic and William, William had internet issues, so same thing goes to him. It just couldn't go out for him. But I don't know. Come on, do you know what happened to Logic there? I mean, he just seemed like he just left out of nowhere. Logic uh, was also having lag issues, and since he is not in any contention, he didn't want to be a hazard, okay. and he, he left. Okay, that but... was after the incident with Nanners, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah that but incident. There, yeah. there might have been a few team orders in place. Maybe a few uh... team orders. May have gotten a bit out of hand there. Um... Uh... Case, don't remember i think it was lap yeah lap 80 logic in the process of getting lapped by nanners trying to defend it for some reason i'm not sure what the pro thought process was there but on the back stretch she decided to just turn himself into nanners and slam nanners into the pit wall which brought out the caution and then he blamed nanners uh, shortly after logic would end up dnfing <laughs> Just lots of interesting moves tonight. and A lot of very interesting and wild incidents tonight. We also had that incident with uh, Genty and Junior. Genty coming down on the racetrack kind of brought Junior onto a treacherous part of the track. And sure enough, it it bit. So, Genty is a weird very incident. interesting then, sub tonight. I mean, I, I don't think he was trying at all. From what yeah. his performance was and what he was doing on track. I mean, he was just... Every I'm I I'd have to go back and look, but it looked like it seemed like every restart he wall rode out of turn four, and then he just yeah, whenever someone spun he sure tried to hit there. them. Like I, I don't know the thought process behind that, really, other than just to cause more chaos in a already chaos heavy race. But I I don't know that was its own thing. There was also the fact that that last restart or where Virginity got mixed up with the leaders. Genty wall tapped out of every single corner for I want to say 10 laps. That that should not happen on both a driver front and honestly we everyone's talking about it. We gotta talk about a little bit of inconsistency with the officiating. I think a few things got let slid, like uh, that got yeah. under the radar. Yeah. A couple of There's definitely a lot of things that went um Far further than they should have tonight. Uh, there was I definitely was not on my A game tonight. Um, not gonna try to go into it. Not gonna try to defend myself because that it was not a good performance for me on my end. So 
definitely could have been there was a lot left to be desired mm -hmm. in the officiating tonight uh which is my bad but we'll, we'll make sure that that isn't the case going into miami yeah, yeah that's fine we can allow yummy to slip up one time with a perfect season it's okay <laughs> Um, let's see, uh, I think that's about it. Has anyone else got anything else to talk about about this week? I mean, D2 is wrapped up. We'll have a, uh, its own segment next week for that. Um, other than Man. that, D3 but, is about to wrap up. We just got one more week here in D1. Yeah, it'll be Nanners versus Avento going to Miami. Nanners will take the championship lead for the first time this season going into Miami. I think he'll have about a five or six point lead. I'll have to double check, do the math real quick. But uh, Nanner's finally taking the lead of the championship. It'll be interesting to see if he can use that buffer to his advantage going into Miami, but it's yet to be seen. Um, it'll be Nanner's fighting for his first title and Evento trying to go back to back two time trying to make a name for himself as the best driver in MRL so it'll be a very interesting battle I'm super excited for it I'll be doing my best to train up everybody as they need it make it the best race it can be oh. and I uh, can't wait yeah All right. well I think that's gonna wrap it up for tonight you know, me, you know what to do well Thanks for everybody who tuned into the stream. Make sure you like to subscribe, throw a comment down below. Helps us push us out to the algorithm, gets our name out there. Of course, maybe not the best race tonight, but hopefully that won't be the case next week. And as we go into Miami, the last round of the D1 Championship, where Avento and Nanners will set to recontinue hostilities and fight it for the championship. Of course, thanks for the drivers for showing up tonight. Couldn't do it without them, of course. Uh, thanks to T-Man for working the media, of course. Uh, you guys wouldn't be able to watch it without him. Uh, we will be here next week on Thursday and Saturday for D3 and D1, of course, so make sure you're tuning in then. But until then, goodbye.